Hello, I'm joined here by Oren Balisti from Silicon. Welcome, Oren. Thank you very much. Thank you for talking to us today. Yes, maybe you could, we could just start off with uh, just explaining who Silicon are and where it fits into the decoupling of network services, disaggregation, massive market. Maybe just give us an overview of where you fit into that, Oren. Thank you. Okay. So Silicon is a company we are over 30 years in the market. Silicon is a, over $100 million uh, uh, sales a year. Uh, we are traded in uh, NASDAQ under the name Silk, so we're a public company. And uh, Silicon is focusing on cloud market, telco market, networking, cybersecurity, everything related to packet moving. Uh, in the disaggregated market, it's actually open for Silicon a massive opportunity because operators now are open to buy white box solutions, smart appliances, adding card accelerators. So the, the white box opportunity creates for us a way to integrate our solution into more and more use cases. And when Silicon is looking at this market, it creates for us a massive opportunity to get into new markets like, uh, for example, BNG, like a uh, security market, pattern matching, uh, 4G, 5G, developing solutions for both the edge and the core, accelerator uh, solution that create uh, a better performance, lower latencies, and those together actually create one solution that create value for the operator. Yeah, let's just pick up on 4G, 5G. As you mentioned, mobile, open RAN, massive amount of activity now, or it's building up at least, pushed by the likes of the ORAN Alliance, the Telecom Infra Project. Maybe just tell us a little bit more about Silicon and how it positions in 4G and particularly 5G as we as, as we move forward. It, when Silicon looking at the mobile market, first of all, we are a member of TIP, ORAN, ONF. Uh, we are part of OCP uh, for the hardware. We're looking at those markets and we see that uh, we can provide a, a very high-end appliances. So when we're looking at those appliances, there are mainly three types of appliances. We're looking, uh, first of all, at appliances that can uh, uh, provide the edge, uh, specifically DU. Uh, in the DU, we are developing the full appliance. We have adding cards for different type of uh, connectivity. Uh, 10 gig, 25 gig, we have uh, time synchronization solutions, we have offload, and maybe uh, we, when, when we're looking at this market, we can create a different solution, whether those are software, a partial acceleration, of, or a fully accelerated L1. And those create for the operator a range of choices, whether those are software, a hardware, or a mix of both. Yes. And as, of course, within this sort of RAN environment, front hall connectivity is a very, very important part. Uh, maybe if you just expand a little bit further on Silicon's uh, approach to front hall. So in the front hall specifically, we're developing a solution for TimeSync. We're developing a range of adding cards that include synchronized internet, PTP 1588. Those can be ranged from four port to eight port, 12 ports, and uh, all those may include GNSS receiver. So we are actually creating the full synchronization platform for uh, the uh, access, uh, for the mobile access uh, network. The second type of solution is partial offload. Partial offload including a chip like uh, ACC100 from Intel. This is uh, accelerating the LDPC for the error correction. And this uh, is working with collaboration with the Intel FlexRun. The third line of solution is FPGA card. In the FPGA card, we are creating accelerator for the L1, which is way beyond uh, the uh, for the error correction. And we can actually create more connectivity or we can connect more radio units to one DU. And by that, we can scale the network much faster. So it's a different type of solution starting from software to partial offload to a fully accelerated uh, L1. 
And do these capabilities, they enable you presumably to get involved in other markets? Maybe you could just just explain a little bit about that. Okay. Uh, when uh, we're looking at other markets, there is a very interesting market of private LTE and private 5G. The private LTE and 5G, they create a out-of-the-box solution where, where we can create an appliance with all the hardware accelerators. We are collaborating with software companies and we create one solution. So when you are coming to deploy a private LTE or private 5G, we can bring you one box solution that including all the access and network, and we can connect directly to the radio heads. We are also part of the ONGO uh, Alliance, and by that we are creating this, the right specification for our platform in order to integrate seamlessly with the software vendors. It's clear that you've made very good progress already, but I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit and just tell me a little bit more about your future roadmap. What's coming around the corner? Around the corner, there are so many, many surprises for 2021 and 2022. Mm. So first of all, and the obvious one, we are fully aligned with Intel. We are developing the next generation appliance based on Intel and next generation processors. Uh, we will have appliances starting from 4-core up to 10-core for uh, rural areas. We'll have appliances for 10-core to 20-cores for urban areas. And we'll have high-dense urban appliances that will range from 20-cores up to 36-cores. And this is something that will create for us opportunity to offer software vendor and the operators a full range of appliances. On top of that, we are developing appliances for uncontrolled environment and for temperature range for minus 20 to 55. And by that, they can get those appliances to uncontrolled environment, which is very typical in those uh, uh, deployment models. On top of that, we are developing an outdoor DU that can be pole mounted. And this is very interesting because we will not require a specific room for this. We can mount the DU next to the RU on the pole and by that reduce the real estate required from the operator. So again, when we're looking at an operator, we need to create for them a portfolio of product so they can uh, um, actually use for many, many deployment models without any software integration and without uh, software onboarding that require effort. Yeah, it sounds like a very appealing story to operators. So thank you very much, Oren, for your time. It's been great speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.